Hey there guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ollie43 speaking and today I'm doing an unboxing of the Razer Deathstalker. This is a keyboard from Razer. Um, I'm a huge fan of their products. I like all their products. I'm not paid to do this video, nor was I given the keyboard for free. I went out and bought this because it's pretty awesome. I already have a Razer keyboard. It's a mechanical one and this one is a chiclet keycaps. Um, so that means the keys are very flat. You're going to see that in a second here in the video. Um, so yeah, I ordered it. It's around £70, so in terms of dollars, I'm sure that's around... I, it may be the same price, but it's around uh, around $100 or so. So it's an expensive bit of kit, it's for gamers, and it's targeted towards guys who are really into their computer, uh, PC gaming, I should say. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm a huge fan of Razer. I mean, they're, they're, the quality of the products are really nice, and you're going to see it here in just a second. Uh, this keyboard is freaking sweet. Some features of the keyboard are, like I said, it's chiclet keycaps, which means they're very flat like a laptop. Um, it has 10 key anti-ghosting. That means you can press 10 keys at one time and the keyboard won't glitch up and give you some confusing uh, data in the keys. Uh, it's got macro buttons. That means you can program your own keys and whatnot. There it is. It looks really sweet. I've plugged it into my Mac uh, there. So you can see it's got back click keys, which is really nice. I play a lot of games at night and in the dark and um, having keys lit up is really nice because you can see what you're doing and it's kind of uh, well you know you got some uh, pro gamer points there because it's just it's just nerdy and awesome uh, one thing i don't like about this from first glance is the space bar doesn't have a light behind it which was kind of weird um if you're wondering what the keys feel like they're actually really soft it like feels like there's um like a membrane behind it uh, I was kind of half expecting it to be a little bit clicky, like to make a click sound, but I mean I'll press it now on my keyboard. It doesn't make any noise, which is really awesome. So Razer do provide an alternate keyboard to this one, and it's like the Deathstalker Ultimate. And what that comes with, instead of the number pad you can see on the right hand side, it comes with a, like a screen. That's also a trackpad. Here you can see it uh, lighting up in the video here. Um, now that will cost you like twice as much. And to be honest, I I feel like that's a bit of a gimmick and the screen is not as useful as those number keys. Um, I just don't see the point in the screen. Like you can watch videos, okay. You can use it as a trackpad, okay, but I've got a mouse. If you're a dedicated gamer, you don't need a trackpad. That's my opinion. So this is the cheaper version without the screen. And to be honest, I think it's the better keyboard. Um, but yeah, for some reason it's not very easy to get hold of. I had to order it on Amazon. Uh, I didn't actually order it through Razer directly, but um, I, I think that's because I'm in the UK, not in the US. So, Also, the bottom bit you can see there at the bottom, I would have hoped that would have been leather, like been of high quality leather. Um, instead, it's actually plastic. It's glossy, so that's a bit of a shame. Uh, but yeah, this is initial impressions and unboxing. Um, if you'd like to leave a like, that is much appreciated. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.